Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Alexis Walters. The Farrell School Board tonight decided not to wait another week and instead voted to keep the name of Ed McCluskey on the high school gymnasium. The vote was as tight as it could get. Five to four. It came after an hour's worth of debate on both sides. But in the end, the McCluskey name will stay. It is our top story at 11. About 60 people attended the meeting in the Farrell High School Auditorium. Coach McCluskey still lives and rules through the threads of our community's proud history, of which he is such a large part. And there have been at least four people that we know of that had clipboards broken over their head. Former player Brian Sanders led the effort to have the Ed McCluskey name removed from the high school gymnasium because he and others claimed that McCluskey was overly abusive. Former player Richard Chambers told of what Coach McCluskey did to his twin brother. And he take his fist. And he hit some five dogs on times. For what reason, I don't know. But the other side of Ed McCluskey was told by former players who honored him for the legend he'd become. He demanded excellence, and during that period of time, a culture was developed that stayed with me until today. Ed McCluskey was Farrell's head basketball coach from 1948 to 1977. He won seven state championships. Through his discipline and high expectations, he created a roadmap for not only athletics, but for achievement, capability, and life. Every person who spoke in favor of Coach McCluskey was white, and all those who spoke against him were black. And if you look at the room, it became a black white issue. The white people are over here, the black people are over here. That was not my intention to do that. School board member Gary Satterwhite suggested the issue be tabled and that the naming rights to the gym be sold. But the board voted against tabling and then, without discussion, voted 5-4 to four to keep the E.J. McCluskey name on the gymnasium. As I was leaving, I did get to talk briefly with Brian Sanders, the person who organized the effort to have the McCluskey name removed. He told me, quote, it's not over yet.